Hi everybody, I am uh, Christoph, Oscar November 1 Alpha from your Foxrod, and I've been asked to give a small demonstration of the uh, VHF UHF modem for Codec 2. So that's what we're going to The goal of this presentation is to give a short one way QSO from this radio, from this microphone to that speaker over there. So that we're going to use two ports. We have several ports here, but I'm only going to use two. This is the uh, Raspberry Pi, which is going to use for the transmitting chain, and that's the panda board we're going to use for the receiving chain. The complete chain works like this. You have this microphone. Out of this microphone is captured by this USB dongle, which is an iMic. It goes into the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi does two things. It does codec 2 modulation, uh, coding, excuse me, and GMFK modulation, and the output and the signal is actually output via this USB dongle towards this interface board, which then goes into the ZESO over there. That is then transmitted, which is received again by this Canwood TH7, TH7 Echo, which has the um, very interesting option, this is one of the few portables actually has the possibility to do 9600 9, baud packet. So this is what we need. The signal is then received via again this very professional interface board over USB dongle towards the Panda board. The Panda board does demodulation of the GMFK signal, the, modem, the radio signal, and then also decoding of the codec 2, which is then played out. In addition to that, we have two more radios here. This is a normal FM radio, an ICOM uh, E90, which is used as monitor, so you can actually hear the GMFK modem and the GMFK signal. Over there is an ICOM D Star radio, which is also tuned to the same frequency, whether that's visible on the video. The goal is to show that the two signals do not mix and that you're not supposed to hear anything on the D-Star radio. We do not want to have D-Star leave uh, people using D-Star all of a sudden having a lot of R2-D2 on their radio because of well, other signals coming up. On the software side, <coughs> we have this computer. This computer is actually not used as uh, for processing. It's only used to control and see what's going on. Everything is done on the boards. So we have the transmitting chain, you have these three programmings, these three windows are for the transmitting chain, the Raspberry Pi. On the left side you have the modem software, uh, which is used in this case to transmit. You have here the uh, program which takes the audio and sends it off to the modem. So here is actually the audio is captured, it is seen, the codec 2 encoding is done and it's like sent, via, sent via a TCP stream to the modem. In addition to that you have a small application with just PTT switching because the Raspberry Pi also has to switch the transmitter of course. On the receiving chain, on the Panda board, you have the same thing. You have the modem again, it's actually the same software, but in this case it's used as receiver. And then the received signal is actually sent via UDP stream towards this application, which also runs on the same board, which does codec to demodulation and plays it out. So, Proof of the pudding is in the eating, so let's give it a try, and now let's hope everything works. There you go. And there's a signal of the speaker, going to be a little bit louder, as long as we don't have too much echo. As you can see here, on the screen, this T means that you're actually transmitting, it means that the PTT switch is seen and actually signal is sent. This is the modem which is sending data, has some, have some uh, debug information about the uh, audio card. This is then the modem on the Panda board, which is receiving information, and the numbers you see floating around actually uh, reports of the forward error correction, which is then sent over here. So let's read everything. You have the signal here, which is transmitted. This microphone goes via the USB board towards the Panda board. The Panda board then does coding and sends it out to this radio which is transmitting, as you can see in the red light. Then it is received again on this radio, where it is actually via this interface board, sent towards the Panda board, and the Panda board is decoding and plays it out. On this FM radio, we can hear the GMFK signal. And over there on the D-Star radio, you see that it's not receiving anything. It sees that the signal is present, but it does not decode, because on, we made on purpose that the signal does not uh, look like a D-Star signal, so D-Star radios do not uh, start to decode it. So that's it. I hope that you have learned something and perhaps, it's so, and perhaps we can see each other in another video. Bye bye.